space uh, again finds itself embedded within the context of this house as it as it goes from being a drawing or a model in through a construction site and into an inhabited domain. Uh, sometimes one sketch medium is not a piece of yellow flimsy, it's not a cardboard model, but it's your own house. Uh, and uh, if, if your house needs a little work anyway, and mine certainly continues to, uh, uh, why not then uh, explore in a modest way a set of architectural ideas that, that you might somehow uh, someday find a use for. And so uh, uh, this house, which I've stumbled through trying to get built for the last five or six years, uh, has a, a framescape sort of uh, recovered from an old uh, sort of uh, contractor's logger's cabin, uh, uh, a logscape, uh, which was in fact had to be brought to the site because there weren't logs like that on the site, too bad, uh, and an alternation between window, column, and, uh, uh, and, and, un and un unglazed opening that came out of the fact, say, that I had a pair of windows in the existing house and I moved those windows to another location and left the holes that the original windows were in. So then I had windows that were the same size as the other holes and so forth. And so there's a transposition of logic that took place, all part of a process of, of trying to aim towards something. Uh, again, a, a picture of my crummy front porch with a dent in the fascia where the neighbor's tree fell on it. And uh, the entrance to the, uh, to the Nielsen House's uh, children's house, the, the yellow dump truck, yellow children's house. Uh, somewhere along that corridor. Or uh, a more flattering comparison, uh, with the right light you can even make a cardboard model look good, and even my house. Uh, the Nielsen uh, colonnade and my meager colonnade. Uh, not quite as grand, I do in a pinch. Uh, there's outside. Schindler-esque, uh, uh, but also a gesture toward uh, a frame architecture that inhabits the sky, et cetera, et cetera. Remember the, the building that was going to uh, start in the sky rather than on the ground, the building that was going to make itself an availability for flexible activities, for reprogramming itself, for being available for just about anything, um, or a building uh, which would make a, a, an upper space uh, through which you could throw footballs and uh, imagine an angel's choir, but you couldn't use. Um, could, uh, could we build an architecture, really, that was like a spaceship flying overhead that had no connection to the ground? Could we build an architecture, uh, or, or is it only an, a theoretical possibility? You know, do, we, do we want an architecture like that? If we want it, then we have to look for a way to get it. That's the end of, uh, of a part one. And uh, uh, that is, uh, there's another uh, pair of, of trays and uh, mostly uh, drawings and, and all the necessary documentation of, of this infamous Nielsen House revisited. If, if you had enough Nielsen House, then you might want to try a movie. If you want some more Nielsen House, the next tray of slides provide that. Good to stretch.
could, could someone give us a little twist on the focus knob on the left screen? Coy, would you go focus the left slide? <laughs> Thank you. Here we go again, pictures and buildings. Um, let's see. I, I forget how this works. I'm going to have to splash them a little bit here. See. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. um, I'll, I'll try to be a little bit more routine about what's going on here so that it's just uh, just talk about this house a little bit. Uh, some drawings which try to explain that uh, axonometric of the, of the frames with the uh, with the walls stripped away in front so you can see the floor plan lying down and uh, then a longitudinal section with some uh, what Eric Moss calls ballet school uh, rendering on it and uh, with with the, uh, the the various levels of the uh, of the main level of the house and then the lower level uh, and then the, the terrain of the living room which mediates between those two levels but um, and and the landslide uh, shown up behind uh, which we've spent several months trying to fix yeah I'll try to be louder <coughs> so a trip um, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> For a change.
What's that model doing there? We don't need that anymore. It remains only to look at what's been done, what could have been done, take it apart, think about its underlying means and methods, <coughs> concepts of structure, things which occupy the Earth's surface, the necessary framework, the ability to nudge, to dig, to probe, to experience, to turn a line into a, from a diagram to a built reality, to think of the diagram of the habitation, and to think again about the lines that we draw between the earth and the sky. Thank you very much. Would you like to leave or ask questions? Or? Time to go. Time to go home. Thanks, Jane. If anybody wants to see the work in, at the gallery, it'll be going until Saturday. Architectural gallery on um, San Juan. It's open Saturday from uh, 12 to 6. See you next week. <laughs>